three, two. <coughs> Shoot, I forgot to totally bust it on Instagram. That's okay. That other thing gonna shut down. Oh yeah. All right. Hi, what's everybody. Up? What's up? Happy Wine Happy Wednesday. Wine Wednesday. Wine Wednesday, right? Wine Salud to everybody out there. Cheers. Hanging out with us on this another fantastic, wonderful Wednesday. We're here in Northern Michigan at Bonobo Winery. Amy and myself, and uh, we have my brother uh, who's out somewhere, and then we have um, Davi and Cornell who are cooking some fun stuff up with us on the grill today outside. Yes, it smells so good in here right now. Yeah. They're going to actually do a cherry glazed salmon. And this Indian rice, and the Indian rice is what's cooking right here, and it yeah. smells so good. So ridiculously good. We're very excited that we get to try another fantastic feast. Yes. And we have the beautiful, talented, wonderful eco warrior and superstar Emmanuel Shrieky. Yes, us. we love Emmanuel. She has been one of our friends for a very long time, and she has been such a, a leader in the environmental movement. And mm -hmm. she's been in so many hit shows, and just she just pops on screen and. We're so excited we get to see her face. I know, we get to see her and say hello to her. And you know, I used to always say Shariki. Shariki. Why? Because I just thought it was Shariki. But okay, well, you can ask her. Well, it's not Shariki. Uh, well, I people feel, I, messed up Oster House many a time. All day long. All day long. So, you know what? I yeah. can take it. I'm going to get In fact, it. when I met you, I didn't even know how to pronounce your last name, and I asked. Ah. Dig right there. No, but it's true. Yeah, it happens. You, Oster House. You said to me, you said it's it's Oster like toaster. I was like, so it got it. it. Yeah, Oster and like now toaster. that's my legal last name. Yeah, who knew? <laughs> she took it. I was gonna go to so, Smart. I thought that was better. It would have been easier. Smarter, smarter. Um, that would have been better. Um, so, um, but first, before we get started, yes. Jill, we have some late breaking stuff that's happening right now. Jill, the wonderful tasting room manager here at Bonobo Winery. Hi. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. Special guest, our new wine friend joining us here at Bonobo Winery, Christy McClellan. She is a legend on Old Mission Peninsula at the winery. So happy to have her working with us. So um, we're going to have a lot of new fun things coming out in the next few weeks that Christy's going to be helping us out with. Um, so stay tuned to social media where we will be promoting all sorts of fun stuff that we'll be doing. Like what if we're doing something this week, right? Let's just kick it off with some fun. Uh, we're doing a little promotion tonight. Cherry 722. That's the date, guys. 722. So if you buy four or more bottles of any Bonobo wine you want, any varietal, um, you get free shipping. The promo code is going to be available for 24 hours. So you have 24 hours to buy your wine. And on top of that, if you aren't in our wine club already, you should join because you'll get free shipping plus 20% off of the bottle price of all of your wines. Wow. Um, so people are going to be able to ship a whole as much as, as they much want as they for want. free. <laughs> as much as they want for free. Maybe we'll Angelina just drive it to them. It'll be a lot less expensive. But okay, I guess we're doing that for 24 hours. That's pretty cool. Yeah, awesome. so 24 hours. So if you want to sign up for the wine club, just go to bonobowinery.com and click on the wine club tab um, to sign up. And we'll take care of the shipping on the back end for all of our current wine club members. Just type in the code. Cherry, Cherry 722 to get your yeah. uh, account. And All anything right. else, you can, you know, you get the, the free shipping as well. But I mean, if you're going to buy wine, get it at a discount. Yeah, get it and get it free shipping. That's one thing we start yeah. with. Well, Christy, we're so happy to have you here. Uh, um, your spirit has been great since you've been here for a very short time. And we welcome you. So thank, thank you. you. Um, we are going to, yeah, cheers, cheers to you guys. Cheers. cheers. Um, so we're going to go out to, um, to Cornell and Davi right now, because they're outside with the grill and the salmon and all the above, all the good stuff. And they're going to show us um, what they're little, cooking what, up. What they got going on. Hi, guys. Hi. Can you hear us? We can't hear you. There you you have to use your outside voice, boys. Yeah. Hey, so <laughs> tonight we have uh, a little bit of salmon here for you guys to cook. Um, this time we didn't get uh, what's it the, the Sharknado from uh, from California, but we actually got it here in the bay um, earlier. And uh, um, yeah, it's just something that 
it's very uh, common here, um, you know, in, in northern Michigan. And uh, like that's, yeah, we go, Gabe, take a look at the peak. We're going to grill this and uh, glaze it with some cherry uh, <clears throat> that we've uh, boiled down um, earlier on. And then we're going to serve it on some uh, Indian rice. So it's a yellow rice. It adds a little bit of spiciness to the, uh, to the dish, um, along with the uh, arugula, uh, the spinach, goat cheese, pistachio, a um, little some bit of onion. onion. Yeah, red onion, some Dijon mustard and stuff like that on the side there. So it's going to be a, a very, uh, play, uh, a lot of flavors going on there today. So with the, the uh, Pinot Noir and the Rosé, uh, those are going to be great pairings. Um, I wouldn't shy away even from, uh, from a, a, a Riesling as well. All right, well, um, that all sounds terrific. Uh, I can't wait to start eating. Um, but before we do that, I, I love that we're pairing this with the Pinot Noir and the Rosé. Um, I think, you know, it's such a different combination. Most people think fish, white wine, and we're using a rosé and we're using a red. Um, if you know our Pinot, if you've had it before, it's pretty light. Um, I think the camera is hopefully back on us now. I'm not sure if it is or not, uh, Jill. Um, but um, yeah, so um, we are both drinking one of each. So when Amy steals a sip of mine, uh, <laughs> please let me know. And um, yeah, I'll give her a flick. Um, the cool thing about what we've started to do, because obviously we have a lot of celebrities still and celebrity chefs coming on board. Um, next week, we have Kat Cora, who's going to come on board. Um, obviously, this week, we have the wonderful, talented Emmanuel Shrieky. Um, and then we have more celebrity chefs coming on as well. But we're going to start because in northern Michigan, we have so many wonderful uh, fruits and vegetables and harvest is starting to happen while it's been for a lot of different items. So what we wanted to do was connect the dots with what we're making and what's well, growing locally right now right. in this region. Right. So right now, cherries. I mean, if you're around northern Michigan, Traverse City, the cherry yes. capital of the world. It is cherry season. In fact, I took our daughter picking cherries a couple days ago and we just got super messy and we're eating in the orchards. Super fun. So yeah. sweet. Yeah. And then I gave her, we went to the tart cherries and I was like, because they're so bright, red and beautiful. And so she's like, Ooh, can I try one? I'm like, no, oh, it's tart. And she immediately tried it and puckered her lips. She's like, oh, it's sour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. So speaking of in the cherries, let's yeah. go to Todd Osterhaus. Where are you, buddy? I think you're in the cherry farm somewhere next door. Yes. So um, I think everything's working. We're good? Yep. Yeah. Yes. It's happening. Right, great. Um, hey, I'm out here hanging in the cherries. Just got back from vacation. So I know you guys put me to work for a lot of stuff to do. But little do people know that um, our vineyard was all cherry orchards. So you get a lot of nice cherry flavors that come through in the wine. And the nice thing is, is we're doing this harvest. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no, Todd. Todd, stop moving. Bringing things with Patrick <laughs> in Michigan. Yeah, and it freezes on Freeze. him. Okay. That's awesome. Freeze, Todd. Well, yep, oh, and he's eating and Bit in the pit. Okay. So yeah, so I'll come back inside. The uh, internet's obviously a little funky. I'll yeah. stop moving a little, a little flashing around. But um, um, yeah, come on, come on back up here. I think um, the one thing is my brother Todd. He he can never stop moving. That's not his forte. So uh, that will not be easy. <laughs> so he's a mover he's and a shaker. He's ready for a dance party. He's sure always watches. ready for a dance party. So um, again, what he was trying to say when we did buy this farm. Um, uh, geez, 10 years, 11 years ago, it was all a big cherry farm. And, um, and so we took those cherry trees out, they were mature, and we put a bunch of vines in. And if you were at that planting party in 2011, um, there is a, a row that you're probably a part of that you planted, which was really a fun time. And we'll probably have more of those in the future. But um, now I think we're already, gosh, everything is happening so fast today. Um, uh, I think we, we, do we have a manual with us right now? Uh, Jill, can you give me a nod or yes or no? Yeah, we do. Okay, let's get a manual. Sharifi, the wonderful, Manuel. the talented manual. <laughs> Hi, guys. Wait, do you see me? I don't see Yeah, you. we do. We can oh, see you. Oh, oh, there you are. Yes. Hi. Hi. 
How <laughs> are you? What are you lovely, doing? Tell us. Painful. How are you? What are you doing? Where are you? Um, <laughs> I'm in my house. I'm in my, not my house. Wish was my house. I'm in a two bedroom apartment in West Hollywood. I have been for the whole pandemic. Oh my gosh. Wow. Uh, yeah. I'm <gasps> looking at your whole situation and I'm dying right now. <laughs> Emmanuel, you need to get in your car and road trip it yes. cross country and come here. Yeah. Oh my God. You Have are you asked serious. people to do that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you, then what? Do they get tested when they're there? Yeah. Or you you sit out, you know, you get like put in the penalty box for like 14 days pretty much. Oh, and, just, uh, we'll just put you in for like five to seven. <laughs> yeah. Um, but still, um, you know, a lot of people think, Emmanuel, because, you know, we've known you for a very long time that. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, look, you, even some people today were like, oh, well, Emmanuel's probably been to Traverse City. She's probably been to the winery. Because we're good friends. You and, know. And, <laughs> and you have not. That's the one thing you've not. And right now, there's so many things that are happening. Harvest is happening right now. Everybody's oh. having a lot of, um, you know, loving. The wine is, is, is we're, we're selling a lot right now, which is great. But you're so, I mean, look, you're Canadian. You're from Montreal. I know. Lived yeah. in Toronto for a while. Yes. And by the way, in Traverse City, we're farther north than Toronto is. So we're wow. kind of Canadian already. We're totally Canadian. <laughs> yeah, you totally are. I mean, yeah, a hundred percent. It's um, uh well, you should you in should in fact we grow almost this very similar varietals that Niagara on the Lake grows because that's it's like what the I was same. about to say. It actually looks like like when I was looking at that, because my my brother lives very close to Niagara on the Lake. Oh wow! And it literally looks the same. I mean, it's the same yeah. part of the world. It's like that's yeah, the, yeah that's absolutely, crazy. absolutely. Yeah, it's very similar in style and setup and everything. Um, but beyond that, let's talk about you for a second. <clears throat> um, again, we we have we've all known each other for a while. We uh, are sit on Emma. We sit on the board. We've all been mental media association. Yeah, um, people yeah. are like Emma. Yeah. <laughs> um, what I didn't know um, is that. Your full name is Emmanuel Sophia Anna Shrieky, correct? Sophie, Sophie Ann. Oh, Sophie Ann. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Sophia, you know, I just thought we're that good of friends, I could call you Sophia, but whatever. You want to tell everybody <laughs> Sophie, else the difference, yeah. that's cool. <laughs> so, I mean, if it was Sophia Ann, I would be like, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why do you have so many names? <laughs> How do you get so many names? How do you get so real lucky? talk? Real talk. When I was a baby, my my brother is nine years older than me, my sister is six. So mm -hmm. when I was born, everybody wanted a name. My parents wanted a name. My brother wanted a name. Oh, my true. sister wanted a name. So they oh. just gave me all the names. <laughs> oh, no well, that, <laughs> so you got the luck of the draw. You That's got all these names. really cute. You got named by everyone. <laughs> I, did. Oh. Um, I did. Can you tell us, um, I want to go through the list because I was, I mean, look, you're in LA, you know so many people, you hang around. I mean, you like, you, Look, we had Constance on here before, but you were on, obviously, Entourage, which was probably the biggest project you ever did. I think mm -hmm. some may say that. I think Detroit Rock City was the biggest project, awesome, best <laughs> movie you ever did. Um, uh -huh. Can you tell me a little bit about um, Super Troopers? How was that? Super Troopers. That was amazing, you guys. Yeah, I've never had... To, have you worked with them, Amy? I've met him, but no, I've never worked with him. Oh my God. It was literally the best time ever. And as you know, I got to work with Hayes MacArthur. Yeah. <laughs> so we were, in, we were in Boston. Like it just was incredible. But, you know, funny story with um, Jay Chandrasekhar because it was July 4th weekend, like three years ago, I was camping in Big Sur. And I had very little reception. And so Jay is sending me an email and he's like, I'm really trying to get in touch with you. Can you call me? And I respond. I'm like, I have no reception. I'm off the grid for like three, four days. I'll call you as soon as I get back. Cut to like when I, when we do finally talk, Jay had his own version where he was like, what the hell, man? Like, I'm trying to offer this chick a movie and she's like off the grid. Oh, <laughs> and you, you get labeled as that person. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
<laughs> which is like typical hilarious Jay. But those guys are amazing and it was so much fun. Yeah, Super Trooper is definitely yeah. uh, a favorite over here. Um, really quick. And why Detroit Rock City? Well, Detroit because Rock City for Detroit. obvious reasons. Yeah. And, uh, Kiss you fan? Well, yeah, Furlong. and of course, of course. Yeah. But are you and, a Kiss fan? Well, yeah, I mean, we're definitely a Kiss fan. And so that had to be fun, right? I mean, did you get to interact with the, yeah. the guys much? The Kiss? Not really. Like, I mean, I met Kiss the band at the premiere. The best part of doing Detroit Rock City is that quick, quick. My brother is like a classic rock uh, expert. Like literally when I was a little girl, he would quiz me on music. Who's this? Who's this? <laughs> So when I got Detroit Rock City, I had like all, like, I was so gleeful. I was like, bro, guess we just got Detroit <laughs> yeah. Rock City. Yeah, you get to show off a little bit. That's awesome. Yeah. Isn't it, that's the best when you're able to do that. Like it just kind of falls yeah. in your lap and you yeah. probably, you know, was so envious. Um, but speaking of bands, I did see that you, uh, well, you got to work with Beyonce, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you, and then you work, you got, I mean, you've worked with so many people. You worked with Usher. You worked with Beyonce. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can you, uh, I mean, you worked That's with so Usher, fancy. but that was what, Cadillac Records? Yeah. 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 Wow. Carter, I'm so impressed with your research. <laughs> it really goes down the rabbit hole. Not that difficult. Come on. Wow. I could, Emmanuel, I couldn't say your last name, but I know every movie you've been in, all right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so, what was it like? Um, meeting, working uh, alongside with Beyonce, because the queen bee, come on. I mean, listen, it was crazy. It, because there's also, like, I mean, she was Beyonce, but at that point, she had just started dating Jay-Z, right? So we weren't, like, at the Beyonce who was today. It was more the Beyonce from Destiny's Child. You know, had gone solo right. a little bit, was, you know, but... She was so amazing. She was so impressive because she just came, you know, she was playing Etta James and she just came and owned that. Like, you know, just a, a consummate professional as you would imagine. You know, we didn't get to, you know, I had a very little part in the film, but I definitely got to cross paths with her and, you know, I got to play with Adrian Brody, which was awesome, but yeah. uh cool experience i always say that film just came out at the wrong time like it would have been like mm -hmm. if that film came out now i feel like mm -hmm. so many eyes would be on it yeah absolutely you're probably totally. right i mean it, you know timing is everything in life right and uh, yeah but yeah. look the the fact that you got to work with her um i know you met jay she, before. first of all she was lucky to work with you absolutely okay? oh, that's true. let's be honest it's true though <laughs> You're a you. freaking amazing human being. It's true. I love you so much. Thank you, my <laughs> <story>. <laughs> Um, So you have so many fans. And I'll tell you, Emmanuel, every time I feel like I come back to Michigan and I see all my, like, you know, like real good <laughs> friends that I grew up with, right? Like, my, yeah. I still hang out with my kindergarten friends. And oh all of them are God. like, you know, Emmanuel? Do, do you see Emmanuel? Hey, I saw you with a, in a picture with Emmanuel. I... I What's it like to be you when you're walking down the street? Well, you don't walk down the street anymore. You're, you're cooped up in a two-bedroom place. I do not walk down the street unless I'm, like, covered. Nah. <laughs> it's so yeah. funny because no one could recognize anyone in <laughs> Exactly. It's kind of freedom. No, but, you know, to be honest with you, you guys, um, it's really not. It's funny. Like, I don't have that at all. Like, it's not a thing. It's really, it's chill. Like, I could be at a restaurant. I could be out, whatever, and a fan or you know could come up and they're just always really cool but I don't have that like craziness around me and I never have not even at the height of entourage really yeah oh, it was always like really chill like as I'm knocking wood as I'm like like are there <laughs> any weird stalkers because I know that Sloan definitely hit on some level you know, with a certain demographic that was kind of obsessive. Like, I know that, but I never felt that in my life. Thank God. Thank God. Maybe because like your energy is accessible. Like you don't give, you don't have all these walls that make you feel as if you're better than. 
And I think sometimes with actors or actresses, and it comes out of insecurity, but you know, they wall themselves up and then it becomes that like, I want more because they're so, you know, they're so cut off and think they're, you know, there's that weird right. energy and you're, you've got such a warmth to you and such oh, an inviting, right, like honey. happiness and smile and energy that I feel like, you know, people wouldn't be as cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, they would be like, oh, I Very really just want to like, yeah. just hang out with her. <clears throat> You know. Oh my God, I feel like you have exactly the same thing, Amy. So it like takes one to know one. But I mean, right? Like if you think about it, we attract that. You know, we haven't gotten to hang as much as I would like. But from the beginning, it was always like, God, I love you. <laughs> I know. I know. Um, well, to be continued. Well, yes. this love affair, I love it. It's Bye, Carter. <laughs> yeah. Bye. I feel like you guys do this every time you talk, but um, I'll just move to the side. So, um, um, really quick, favorite wine of choice? I love a nice Cabernet, my, mm -hmm. but, but, but actually though, my favorite, like if I go to the grocery store and I have to go to a dinner party, I'll pick up the Prisoner. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Do you buy it because of the taste or the label? <laughs> That's a fair question, right? No, it is, it is actually a very fair question, but genuinely the taste. It's so yeah. full bodied and delicious. Yeah. It's so full bodied. That's what I yeah. love. But yeah, I'm not, and this is sacrilege, but you know, I'm not a giant wine drinker. I'm not a big drinker, <clears throat> to be honest yeah. with you. Right. So, like, the prisoner is one that I'll actually get very excited about. Like, I'll be like, ooh, I'll have a glass of that. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, I'm sorry we didn't send you any Bonova wine, and that's my fault because. <clears throat> I mean, that was, we, we kind of connected late in the game here, like what this last yeah. week. But we so. will, but we but will. We will. Or you just have to come here to Traverse City, <laughs> hang know. out with us, and uh, enjoy some oh, cherries yeah. and some wine. And if I you're like him, him, he gets here in two and a half days because he guns it, and then he'll go to a rest stop and sleep in the car for four or five hours, and then yeah. gun it. Every year, every year. <laughs> Somebody has to take the dogs. Yeah. But hold on, guys, how long do you stay? Like, now that you're there, yeah. yeah. Wait, I have, okay, I know. I know you have your questions, Carter. I just have one question. That's all right. Amy, no. do you yeah. know when you're going to go back to filming? To work? I mean, tentatively, I'm supposed to go back at the, at the end of October. And where? In Atlanta. Oh, back to Atlanta. Okay. Yeah. But, okay. you know, that's all... Uh, who knows? Who knows? Tentative. Yeah. Yeah. That's, the, that's what the want is. <laughs> right. Yeah. But we'll see. Okay. What happens? Okay. Can you girls discuss this later? Maybe on the phone? Okay. Yeah, you're sorry. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> it's confusing. And by the way, I saw that you were speaking up for, I'm going to just get in the actor mode right now, for, for the SAG voting today. Yes. That's a big, huge vote happening. Yes. And I'm really happy that you spoke up and Francis Fisher and there's so many actors and actresses that spoke so up because many. It's, it's not settling. It's like really allowing yeah. our voices. No, we had to go back to the drawing board and get yeah. what we deserve yes. and just encourage people to vote. I think with all the online stuff, I think a lot of it got lost too. So mm -hmm. it was really just that reminder of like, vote. Just vote. <laughs> I, know. I know. And that's... That's a universal theme. Like, just vote. Like, yeah. every voice counts. Whatever your yeah. voice is, it counts. And it needs to yes. happen. It needs to be counted for. <laughs> exactly. Yes. The more you know. The more you know. And from the from more Emmanuel you know. and Amy. <laughs> um, Emmanuel, we, we're running short on time. No. Um, okay. You are, I also found this out, you're French, Jewish, Moroccan. And, yeah. um, which is, That's a good combo. That's a great combo. Um, <laughs> did you ever become an American citizen? I did. Good. I became an American citizen three years ago. Wow. wow. Uh-huh. And, and it was, was the test hard? Really, what's what? Was the test difficult? Yeah. I mean, I it like was it difficult be. because I didn't know anything. And they give you this workbook. And, you know, they make <laughs> you learn 100 questions. And then they maybe ask you five. Oh. You know, so, but it was also like, very emotional becoming a U.S. citizen because you know, as you well know, being entertainers, we're 
you know, all over the place. We have a very gypsy life. And so after 20 years of living in the States, I finally was like, okay, this is my home. Yeah. Yeah. Which is crazy. So yeah, it was a very great day. I don't know why we didn't all celebrate. I don't know where we were at that time, but. Well, you know what? I did it. Yeah. There was something, you know what's funny? Everybody has said that. And I'm like, I can't remember why, but there was a reason that we didn't have a party. Well, like you just gave us a reason. I don't know what was going on, but like everybody was like, how'd you not have a party? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just gave us another reason for you to come to Traverse City. I know. We'll, we'll have, have a party for you. <laughs> I honestly, uh, guys, like, here we'll give you this? some Pinot Noir. Yep, we have a yes. Pinot Noir. Or if you want some rose. <laughs> and Emmanuel, if you come look at the vineyard, I think you would be really proud because we don't use any herbicides or pesticides. Mm -hmm. wow. And we just spread so much compost all over the vines, and they're just thriving, oh. and it's so beautiful here right now. Of course, it is. You guys, are you kidding? We want to come to where you are. <laughs> I know. So I, get here soon, happen. please. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, listen, we have to run because we're going to do a fantastic salmon cherry dish. It looks here, delicious. We, bon appetit. Yes, we wish we could share it with you, but thank you so much for Wait, joining. We have fans that want to ask questions. Do we? Um, we do we have any uh, questions? We've no? gotten some on Facebook Live. For okay. Sure. Okay. Okay. Let's do. Let's do. We got time for maybe one or two. People are on board with this party in Traverse City. So oh. I think we have to make that happen, especially. Party in Traverse. Party okay. in the <laughs> Yeah. They, uh, are, they definitely want you here. Yeah, Emmanuel, they definitely want you here. Your requirement for sure. Um, okay, so hi, nice to meet you, Emmanuel. Hi, um, nice to meet you. One of the questions we have from somebody is, are there any funny entourage stories that we've never heard before that you could share? Because that was such a great show that you were on. I think one that you're well known for. Yeah, that's a that's a giant loaded question. You know what? Oh, All I'm going to say is this: is that every single day on that set was uh, an absolute adventure. It was so much fun. <laughs> it was fun. It was crazy. Looking back, I I it's surreal to me that I was part of that for as long as I was. Mm -hmm. um, but too many to mention. And I know Carter is yeah. on the clock. <laughs> <laughs> I know somebody has to. He's running a tight ship here. Yes, exactly. All right. <laughs> one, one last question. I think it's a pretty easy yes or no, but this is an interesting one. Um, can you still recite all the presidents in order from on the line? No, oh. I can't. <laughs> I have a very like a short term memory. So like I'll learn it. And then, and then it's gone. Like once I've done what I needed to do, it's gone. <laughs> it's pretty crazy, but that test I have heard is is kind is is difficult. Like I don't think I would be able to pass it. You know. I know. And, and by the way, when I was quizzing all my American friends, yeah. all of them were like, "Oh, I would fail this test." Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, heard. I know. It's kind of crazy <laughs> that they make you go through that. And we did. You know, obviously we had our civics class, but uh, civics class only lasted till whatever. I don't know, seventh grade, eighth grade, whatever that was, I'm not sure. So that was in our mind and out. Yeah, in um, and out. Yes. Right, exactly. So, um, well, I'm glad you're an American citizen. Uh, we're, we're happy to hear that. I mean, I don't know, are we happy? Yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah. 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 So um, listen, we love you. Yeah. Thank you so much love for being you. on. So good oh to see God. you. Oh my God. And let's, okay, just, and Amy and Carter, let's just do this again when we're not live here so we can just catch yeah. up. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. I love it. And also you've all been right. so active right now with all the issues going on. And I just, I'm so inspired by how um, vocal you are and you're hands on and, and you're, you're just in it. And I just admire it so much. Thank you so much, babe. That means the world, especially coming from you. You, you know are, that. Um, I always put you my, my activist mentor. Up there, <laughs> so thank you man you are powerful so thank you for all that you're doing right now such a love fest we like you, you can't have i'm not it. trying to diminish it i'm just saying we got other. other we got food cooking salmon's cooking. i know okay i know Emmanuel, we love you. You i love bye you bye. bye okay emmanuel shrieky uh the wonderful talented uh, you may know her as Sloan, I guess, but uh, she's fantastic. She's awesome. And yes. she's our friend. We're very lucky to have her as one. Um, and hopefully she'll come to Traverse City sometime.
Um, it's getting very bright, right? Here. Yeah, it what is. is I don't know what the sunshine just is just. Uh, Todd, Hi. can you get in the window? <laughs> just I'm just, I'm make a yeah, there we go. Perfect. This is all we need. Please, you're my brother, but social distance. Just, <laughs> he wants um, to dance for to start. Are we just um, get out to the kitchen, to the grill outside? Yeah, let's, um, let's, go outside. let's go out to the grill. We got some cherry glazed salmon. And we have Cornell and Dobby cooking it up. What's Ooh, up, fellas? Awesome. How's it going? It's going fantastic. <laughs> Sorry for the delay. That's that uh, cherry glaze that's on there. So we just uh, glaze it a little bit as we're cooking it. Um, Gabe, if you can come up and then we can uh, flip these babies. Yeah. So they're cooking pretty fast. The fire is nice and hot here. Um, smells good. And uh, we can't wait to plate this. So, so let's talk about the salmon. Um, did you do anything with the salmon beforehand besides just salt chopping pepper, it up? Just the salt and pepper, that's all. Nice. Okay. And yes. um, that's and pretty salmon. thick. I mean, salmon is pretty thick. How long are you, are you going to be cooking that for? Three minutes uh, aside? So, so this, yeah. So there's some thick no. pieces in here. We're probably going to do this about uh, seven minutes, seven, eight minutes. Uh, the fire is pretty hot okay. and I don't really like to overcook the salmon so I like the salmon to swim a little bit on your plate when I serve it um that's gross but okay that sounds fishy Cornell <laughs> oh <Ooh. laughs> that sounds fishy right no 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 <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we, you know, we just want to get it a little bit uh colored up here and and uh, cook pretty nicely for you guys so wow well those are beautiful pieces of salmon that you got so um Cornell, um, I know like we're trying to give a lot of love to a lot of neighbors uh, around Traverse City and because we're able to yep. incorporate the cherries, which I think we're able to get from the market right down the road from Bonobo here. And then you were able to get the fish pretty closely as well, correct? Yeah, we, uh, uh, we picked up the fish from uh, Burrett's uh, uh, food market down in town, uh, fresh, fresh market. Um, Actually, I picked up the last fillet of it and it was just humongous. So um, we have, you know, we've cut this up probably in 14 pieces and we have only 10 pieces here. Um, but you know, they're a, they're a good uh, market in town to visit, um, to buy your fresh produce and stuff, so a lot of organic stuff and working with some local farmers and so on in the area. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a good choice. And in the cherries, obviously it's coming here from old, uh, old Mission. Uh, we got some uh, sweet cherries here from uh, the Johnson farm just uh, up the road. Awesome. Yeah, that's a great, uh, that's a pretty sweet setup that they have right down the road. Um, yeah. That cherry, they have, they always have good stuff. Amy and I try to frequent that as much as possible. <laughs> um, um, okay, so. Um, well, right now, like all over the country, I just feel like so many things are in season. Mm -hmm. This is when the whole country can pretty much eat what's growing in your garden or growing locally or at they can, you know, get food from CSA boxes or farmers markets. And so it's really such an enjoyable time to be eating right now because yeah. <laughs> it's so much local. Well, that's why, again, that's why Cornell and I got together last week and we started putting the menu together for the next four weeks. And we decided, you know, obviously cherries this week. I think we're doing peaches next week. Uh, the week after that, we're going to work with the cheese lady. Um, I know we have sweet corn that we're going to do that's on the menu, but again, when everything is in harvest mm -hmm. is what we're going to take from literally our neighbors and, um, and then, you know, cook it as, as we can. And you know, what's really fun is to go to farmer's markets and find a vegetable that you're like, Hmm, what is that? And then you buy it mm -hmm. and then you go home and you find a recipe that sounds good to you and try it. Yeah. 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 Um, okay, so, so how are we doing with the salmon, buddy? We're, we're, we're doing good. We're getting close to, uh, uh, to getting plated here. And uh, while I'm uh, attending to the beautiful salmon here, Davi is going to go and uh, chit chat a little bit about uh, the Pinot Noir and Rosé and let's see how much he's learned from me. Okay. <laughs> All okay, right. Davi. Davi, take it away, buddy. With the, with the Rosé, mm -hmm. which has become a, a, favorite, a favorite on the show. Um, <laughs> And I think this is this is a wine that you'd expect more to be pairing with with the salmon. Um, it's pretty complex, having eight different varietals in it. It's it's really pretty. It's you know the, the acidity, the minerality. I think will go really well with with the salmon. Um, the 
the guava, the pineapple, everything that's in there. I mean, it just screams summer barbecue and uh, pairing with this. But, you know, we, we talked about earlier about the Pinot Noir and uh, that might be the odd one, but we are doing the, the cherry glaze on the salmon. And I think that's where that comes in. Um, yeah, because the, the cherry on this, the dark cherry, it's, it's, it's really prominent. This has been bottled for about, what, 10 months, 11 months? Uh, since, yes, yeah, September of last year. So almost a September, year. yeah, almost a year. So the, the tannins um, and everything in this wine, it's just like everything is just, you know, getting to a point where this wine is really showing really, really well. And it's only getting better. Um, and I think with, with this salmon, I won't say it's going to be a, a clash, but I think with the, the acidity and the tannins with a little bit of, you know, fattiness of the salmon, I think that's going to be a really, really good, you know, combination. Um, and yeah, not many people would say that, but I think this, this will be a really good wine for this, for this fish and for this occasion. And, you know, they could be for this, this season. Would you, um, hey, Davi, do you think you would yeah. pair the Pinot? Because again, the Pinot is a little bit lighter. Would you pair that with any other fish? Or do you think because salmon's a little bit meatier and because that cherry glaze, it, is that, that why it works so well? I would, uh, I would think, you know, any, any fish in the, in the salmon family, uh, trout, um, like trout, like, you know, with that fattiness and that more like that fishiness, not really yeah. with something like a walleye or a cod that's really a neutral white, white flesh. Yeah. Um, stuff maybe like ocean fish that's got more um, uh, character in the, in the meat as well. Um, but yeah, salmon, trout, like everything in the salmon family, I would say that's got, you know, that's got a good character. And it's got that, uh, those omega threes, um, that richness. That's right. Mm -hmm. I feel that, you know, the, the wine plus the, you know, what the, what the fish brings that, that combination is really good. Um, hey, Dana, yeah. Dana had just mentioned that the Pinot was really good with the, I think she said walleye. Unless yeah. she said wallet, but that's where it cut off. It's, so it's walleye, right. walleye. Yeah. Walleye you know, Carter. Carter, and part of this too is like you know we, you kind of see us like almost we look like gorillas in the mist here, it's, but it's actually it's pretty intense. Yeah, it's the it's the smoke that's coming from the from the wood, and that's also gonna cure or you know savor that that uh, the meat for us too. So we're gonna be in for a nice flavorful um, dish here tonight, um, and I also just wanna add you know to when when you say it's a light pinot. I'm sure you're you're referring or you're comparing us to, you know, something in California because what we have here in the glass is not, to to my means, it's not it's not light. It's a it's a very balanced wine. It's elegant. Um, it's something that I think is going to be really well with with this dish. Um, so yeah, so we're we're getting close to that plating time, you know. Yeah. So um, add yeah, I think just to with uh, you know talking the rice cornell you have the um the list of spices that went in there i mean that's oh yeah speaking of a wine but that rice is pretty complex and um, there's a lot going on spice wise and i think that as well with the fish with the pinot um you know with the wine being in oak um you know that coming coming to the forefront i think that the rice is also really going to make things interesting for us yeah so if you, if you want to talk about the rice so it's uh, basmati rice uh, long grain rice that we use and I added, at first I boiled it uh, with uh, cardamom, uh, some clove and, and cinnamon sticks. Um, and that just gives us a little bit more flavor to the rice. And then you drain it off. And then you take some black um, mustard seeds and throw them in a pan with some uh, olive oil and start to uh, saute them. And once they start popping, we add some, uh, um, some onion, some red chili flakes, um, and uh, just, just and some cumin. Um, just to add a little bit more flavor to it. And then after that, we add some garlic to, to you know, to nicely brown things up. And then once, once things are browned up, that's when we add the, the rice and we, and we fry the rice with that in the pan while we're adding some turmeric to it. And that's what gives it a nice bright yellow color, but also mm -hmm. it's just a lot of flavor in there. So tonight we'll take that, plate it in the center, drizzle some, uh, um, the cherry uh, cherry sauce over that, put the fish on top and then put a little bit of, uh, of cherries on, on top of that that we 
boiled out or the cooked down and then, uh, you know, serve it with the, the salad that I'll be prepared here. Go ahead. Ollie. Yum. That sounds yeah. like a flavor explosion in your mouth. That sounds it, so good. First of all, that is. Indian rice. It is. Is. It is. So the, the same thing with the salad too. You know, we've got the spinach in there, the red onion, the, um, the goat cheese, but then we also have roasted uh, pistachios in there. And then also some yellow or some golden um, cherries and then also some dark cherries that we're gonna add on top with that Dijon, um, olive oil, um, beautiful mixture. color. There we go. Yeah, yeah you guys got a right. rainbow in there, right? Um, there we that's go. the rainbow. Yeah. You want that's how you wanna eat, the rainbow. That's your rice. Yeah. There we go. Looks so all good. Right. Not me. Um, should we all go out there? Or we got a no. question here from, from Dana. Hey, Cornell Davi, uh, Dana's asking about the um, the glaze. Is it thick or is it thin? Because a couple people have made it and they're saying it's a little bit thinner than expected. How did yours come out and how did you make it? All right. It? So, so uh, Gabe, if you can come close here. So this is what mine came out. So it's, it's a little thicker. Um, I, you know, it's just, just like winemaking and anything else, you know, cooking, you go by taste and stuff like that and see what works for you. That's what the recipe called for. I scaled back a little bit on the water because I think the water is really uh, adding uh, too much moisture to that. So I scaled back a little bit tonight on that and I got a little bit more thickness. Um, when I did this earlier, I, I ran into the same thing. It was a little bit runny. So, mm. here we go. Okay. So we just need to modify the recipe a little bit, a little less water. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's easy to do, right? Um, all right. Well, I love the fact that uh, some people are at home cooking along with us, which yeah. by the way, we're going to start doing that more of that, sending out these recipes ahead of time. So. Yes. Uh, if you're it's on the email fun, list, yeah. uh, please get on the email list, Bonobo Winery's email list, and we'll make sure that we get these to you as soon as we can. And yes. like next week, we have Cat Cora coming on board. And we're going for peaches, right? And we're going to be doing the peaches. So okay. um, she's going to be with us, and, and she's fantastic, wonderful. Yes, Cat Cora. Yeah. Super cool. Yeah. Next week. Um, um, hi, Davi. Davi's Davi, inside Davi's, now. Uh-oh. The... Found it. The chefs have lost their mind. <laughs> so <laughs> I think what's supposed to happen is the guys are going to plate it out there. You know, we always get a little worried when we go shoot outside because we don't know the elements and if our Wi-Fi is really going to work outside so well. But they're going to plate it out there and then they're going to bring it inside where I'm going to have a little taste. Oh, look at wow. that serving. Yeah, so maybe while we're waiting them for them to, to plate and come inside, um, a couple, uh, you know, so Amy and Carter talked a little bit about what's coming up. Um, so everybody pay attention to Facebook and Instagram and your emails because we'll be emailing out the schedule um, of what's going to be coming up in future weeks. And we'll also be emailing out any special promos that we're doing for any wines that you can order to join in along with us. Um, and just again, in case you didn't join us at the first part, our, we're doing our shipping promotion again. So buy four or more bottles and you get free shipping. Wine Club members, you get your 20% off. If you haven't joined the Wine Club yet, then um, join it and you get that 20% off and the free shipping. So you can get the wines from this week and any other wines that you've possibly been wanting to try. So Cherry 722. And also the rose, sparkling rosé mm -hmm. is so delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've been having that on the weekends. It's kind of like our new mimosa. Yeah, and it's pretty good. It, it's kind of that perfect early afternoon cocktail. If you you make it sound it. like we drink all the time. Well, no, but you know, on the weekends, you kind of give yourself a little bit more um, leeway. leeway to start earlier. I didn't know. I didn't know she did that, everybody. This or is the it, first you know, it's this. like a little brunch yumminess. You guys own a winery. I think drinking is part of the job. At least that's what I tell myself. We gotta taste it. We gotta make sure it's good. Exactly. And speaking <laughs> of the brunch, Amy, what do you think about uh, putting a brunch together for some of our wine club members? Yeah. Ooh. I love that idea. Should we um, start that now? Should we yeah. make the menu? <laughs> well, I think we've been talking about crepes and bubbles for quite a long time, so I think it's about time we made that happen. 
Yeah. Join the Wine Club to get invites to those kinds of events. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's start that plate. Oh, so the plate is coming. So the food is upon us right now, and we're about to get it here real fast. You ready? Guys, um, what? Wow! Look at all this. Let me move the food. I don't know if you guys at home can see this or if you're cooking along with us. Wow, what? this looks so terrific. Wow, it's kind of what ridiculous. is? I always I feel so food. spoiled when this uh, <laughs> when I get handed a plate of food where Thank I you. feel like I don't deserve this, but I'll take it. I'll take you don't it. have to take it. I'll eat it for you. It's okay. <laughs> um, so if anybody else, oh, we're gonna switch. Yeah, come on in, Gabe. Um, what are you doing? I made it in. How you doing, Gabe? Good to see you. Good, Good. to see everybody out there. Okay, so just um, some time for the food. Yeah, yeah. it's funny how Todd joins us right when the food gets here. Random. Random. Yeah, Todd is never. You know, he, he, he hasn't missed a meal, folks. He definitely will make sure. He's a great there. taste tester. <laughs> and, uh, As looking you forward should. to it. As you should. All right, um, okay. Cornell, are you going to play your son? Um, why don't you, you come on? you come on this side? Gosh, well, we have to social distance a bit. That's usually okay. my bigger side. Well, um, okay, so and you want to do an explanation? Here. Explanation? Yeah. Well, we already got okay. one. We, we got it here. Um, I think the only explanation is for you guys to dig in. Yeah. And save it this moment. Let's do so, it. Let's go do ahead. It. Okay. The studious Cornell today with his glasses, making sure that he's got uh, yeah. the chance to see everything. Mm. Oh, my God. That's oh, really wow. Oh, wow. Mm. Okay. Oh, my God. That cherry. Is that a fun? Oh, that cherry is so, so good. good. Wow, that cherry is so you delicious. Cherries and salmon. I mean, I don't know that I've ever had cherries on salmon before, which seems like it's a kind of common dish, right? No, I mean, mm -hmm. you see it every once in a while. Well, it's interesting to put that. the combinations yeah. together and then to see the different flavors you get, and then how that comes out. Because you wouldn't expect, it. you know, it's uh, mm. just throw those things together and get the last Yummy! Yeah, it's really good. The burst of cherry with all that like fatty salmon, oh my gosh, it like cuts right. It's so delicious. And then obviously in the rice with, with the rice that just kind of mm. mellows everything together. That's really good. Mm. That's yeah. so good. The thing too with the rice is you, you can easily overcook rice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. and it becomes like really mushy. Mm -hmm. You can see this yeah. some really nice yes, texture. That's so stuff. true. That's um, the worst when my rice gets mushy. So once again, if you come into the winery and you see Cornell, he will cook this for you. Uh, he'll take care Which of you. It's going to cost a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> I would ask him. Oh. Yeah, just fire yeah. away. Fire question. Um, well, you guys, this is impressive. I would definitely remake this recipe at home. So good. Cool. Um, mm -hmm. All right, I got to go play some more. Uh, yeah, go play some more. Okay. Yeah, you got to come back. All right, thanks for the help. Todd's like, oh. Obviously, I still have it. Um, um, no, 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 we're all good. Uh, um, Sharon is caring, but not in the time of COVID. All right, and so I would give you because you're my brother. Come on, just give me. But it just doesn't happen. No, it just it doesn't look great. It sounds familiar for a whole life. We're not gonna go there. <laughs> not right now. Um, yeah, this is delicious. Um, you know, I always say the meals are so good every time. And we always talk about putting these meals together, doing a little cookbook, pairing with the wine. It just mm -hmm. um, it just emphasizes the way we're bringing out all those flavors. And that uh, the talent that is here with Cornell and putting yeah. all those things together. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, we should put together a cookbook because there has been a lot of really yummy recipes that did Cornell's beer. Did anybody else cook at home? Um, just check in to make sure. Um, I don't know, Jill, did anybody else cook at home that has it? Yeah, so I've had people ask some questions about the recipe, but um, I know I definitely see. Oh, oh, do we want to go to this household? I'm not sure. Mary, Caroline, <laughs> do we want to check in with them? Sure. I mean, sure. Let's see. Is anyone? I I I no. <laughs> do they want to? All right, Mary and Caroline, tell us how. And so, for those that don't know, Mary is Carter and Todd's mother, and Caroline is Todd's wife. So we're getting a. <laughs> Uh, a family affair. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right, how'd it go? Oh, wow. You guys got everybody there. We have some critics. <laughs> Flora, what did you think? I think I want to have three. <laughs> 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 Do you? <laughs> Look at all you guys. Are so cute. I know. You guys are so cute. Um, are you guys, what do you guys think of the fish? Is it good? It's delicious. The rice is yeah. good. Good. It's to die for. It's, it's what? Did you say it's to die for? It's to die for. 
die for. That's my mom's new favorite saying right now. <laughs> Our mom. It's it's to die for. Whenever something's really cool, she always says it's to die for. That's her new saying. It's kind of a great saying because it just means like I will do things. Oh, thank you, Daddy. Oh, thanks. Here we go. Wow, look at this, huh? Ah, service, service. Um, all right. Um, so Caroline and Mary, how, was it difficult to make this dish? Was it easier than you thought it would be? Hmm. I think easier easier than I thought it was the ingredients that like a couple of those I just didn't recognize. You know me, I'm a very basic, I'm very new to all this, you know, gourmet cooking, but it wasn't as, it wasn't as complicated as I thought, but there were a couple ingredients on there that I was like, oh, that's, that's not in my kitchen. Uh -huh. So I did swing by the winery to grab a couple. I stole them from Cornell. I will restock later, Cornell. Uh, that's okay. If you want to make this dish again, then mm. maybe you can invest in the ingredients. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I would, would totally make it again. Yes. They love it. Look at them. Mm. I want more. Wow. I want Those more. Are loving it. Well, I think um, you made it. Uh, let's see. Are you on here? Mm. Oh, we can't see your face, though. Jay Abulson. You're just on. Um... Well, I want to say real quick. Um, with the cherries on there, it yeah. takes away a lot of that oil that's on salmon sometimes. Yeah. It gets too heavy. Right. right. It doesn't feel heavy. Right. So right. it really makes a big difference. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. By the way, he's a really great chef too. Yeah. Maybe you make a mean salmon. He, he's a he's a great chef. So it's nice to hear what you're. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't mean. To Why say are you looking at me? I don't, he's not. So he is. <laughs> not is. Is yes, absolutely. I'm <laughs> All right. Um, well, listen, everybody, thank you so much for joining. We appreciate it. Another yes, fantastic you. Wine Wednesday. Uh, thank you to Emmanuel Shariki, yes. Shariki for joining us. Um, and next week, we're going to have Kat Cora on board. And uh, she's going to... Cooking with peaches. And we're going to... Yeah, cooking with peaches. peaches. And thank you always to Davi and Cornell yes. for uh, making us fantastic. fantastic meal. Davi, you come in and say That was hello. delicious. Oh, yeah. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Um, these guys did a, a wonderful job, and yes. um, and remember, we're going to be cooking with local ingredients that are harvested right now, um, and that is happening every single week. So if you have more ideas, suggestions, please uh, email us, and if you want to get free shipping, buy four bottles. What's yeah, the code? Free shipping. Cherry722. Cherry722. That's it. That's all you have to do. Thanks, stay guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, enjoy your lives. Take care. See you next Cheers. time. Cheers. Salud. Mm-hmm.